all on some things. There's some stuff you're operating in right now. Wisdom you're operating in. Anointing you're operating in that was developed in seasons past. And you think it's because you're Mr. and Mrs. Super Christian. No. You've been through some stuff and you've held on to some stuff. Come on. Hallelujah. You resisted some stuff. And like a man or a woman in a gymnasium that's lifting weights and resisting pressure. Hallelujah. It's heavy. It hurts. They grunt they sweat it causes hallelujah soreness and pain hallelujah but all the time it's building the muscle the breaking down the tearing of the muscle hallelujah is but what builds it right. yeah, the healing process of a muscle when it's ripped and torn through the workout process the healing part of it is the it, it grows in the healing. Woo! You understand that? Can I release that word to somebody? You grow in the healing. Let God heal you. You grow in the healing. Thank you for being stupid, devil. Thank you for being so stupid and prideful to think that you could take me out, that you assigned this thing to me, hallelujah, that did not stop me, but it only made me better. And the devil's been used again. And he'll keep getting used and abused. Hallelujah. His hope is that in the process of persecution, you'll quit. He's scared that you'll stand. Because he knows if you stand. My God, I'm, I'm about to preach. I didn't mean... How he knows if you stand and come out of it, you're only going to come out with more. You're only going to come out better. You're only going to come out greater. What freaks him out, what he hates the most, is somebody that knows how to stand. Woo! He's not even so scared of those that will jump up and rebuke him real quick. Because most of them, he runs out the door and waits and comes right back in. But what he can't stand is those that he can be in the house with them for six months, but they never lose their praise and they never quit going to church and they never quit giving. Up. And he gets them fired from three jobs, but they still pay their tithes. And when they ain't got no money, they rip buttons off their shirt and say, I'm going to give some. He can't stand somebody that won't quit. Because he knows. He knows what you're coming out with. Yes. Woo. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow. He knows. See, he can't stand it. He can't stand it. Hallelujah. He can't stand it. When he can make you get in the word more. He can't stand it when he produces more praise out of you. Oh, he can't stand it. He can't stand it. You know what he can't stand about us preachers is? He's sitting there like, man, I gave him another message. <laughs> You're not a preacher, you don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> but the devil has helped me out with many a messages. He's like, what's he doing? He's supposed to be depressed. He's supposed to be giving up. And he's sitting there writing and typing and, and putting up. What's he? Has he got another mess? What the?
Are you seeing the, the Joseph wisdom? I carry a fifth. Hallelujah. I carry a fifth part. Hallelujah. For many of us, this season doesn't have to take us out if we can learn to draw on what we've been through. Now, you can be bitter about what you've been through, and you'll starve in this season. Or you can draw on what you've been through. Well, I don't see the good in anything I've been through. You need to ask the Holy Ghost where it's at. Here's what the Lord spoke to me in our hush. He said, Sean, he said, you've been through, you've been through a season of harvest. And now you're in a season where you need to take what you got in the harvest and use it right now. But then he messed me up because then he said, then he spoke to me and said, Sean, guess when the harvest was? I said, when, Lord? So he said, the harvest was really in the struggle. Well, he said, whether you realize it or not, in the struggle, you were reaping things. You were reaping wisdom. You were reaping strength. You were reaping knowledge. You were reaping understanding. And I was fattening you up for the future. Now, God of mine, are you following what I'm saying? Could it be that the struggle has really been the harvest? Could it be that the times you had to push and you went through all the hell and everybody talked about you and everybody left you and everything went wrong and this failed and that fell apart and you were looking at it like, my God, this is the worst season of my life. And the Lord's sitting there going, no, this is the greatest season of your life. Because if you'd stop looking at what you're going through and turn around and look at your storehouses, you could see that your storehouses are filling up with things, hallelujah, that's setting you up. Woo! <laughs> God Almighty, shut up, shut up. Satan wants the failures to stop you. He doesn't want you to draw from your failures and succeed. No, hallelujah. But the struggle's been the hardest. Now, take what's been harvested. Whew. Because the next season you're coming into, hallelujah, this season was a setup for this next season. Can, you, can anybody grasp that? Hallelujah. If you can't, I'll take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I won't let that seed drop on wayside ground. I'll take it. Hallelujah. I'll take that seed. Listen. Hallelujah. The season of the struggle, whatever that may be, was a setup for this season that God's bringing you into. Don't let the goodness of the season you've been through. Go to waste. Ah, <laughs> oh my gosh. 
God Almighty. God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, I give you glory. Come on, lift your hands all over this place. Lift your hands all over this place. God speaking in this house. Runda me te mo mondo si te te vadi hi kranda la manda da mama de le boko ya. Runda la manda da ba ya. Runda li di ki te si da ma. Oh ma la la ba sa branda la ba bo ya. Oh. Ha. So la mama andra ba ba so. And I've got a word for the enemy tonight. And this is my word to the enemy for what he's done to me in this past season. Here's my word. Are you ready? I'm better I'm stronger I'm wiser Oh yeah Let me say that again I'm better I'm stronger I'm wiser oh, yeah. Let me say that one more time in case you didn't hear me. I'm better. Somebody help me tonight. I'm I'm stronger. <laughs> Tell the devil I'm wiser. Oh, yeah. Come on, help me tonight. Say it. I'm I'm better. I'm stronger. Woo. I'm wiser. <laughs> and I hear the enemy saying, I should have took him out. I should have stopped him while I had the chance. I should have made him quit. I should have made him commit suicide. I should have got him divorced because. Now. He's wiser. He's stronger. He's got more than he had when he went in. Anybody got more than you had? Somebody say it, I'm better. Come on, say it, I'm stronger. Come on, get on your feet and say it, I'm wiser. I want you to say this. If you can't relate to this, then, then don't say it. But if you can relate to what I've been saying, I want you to say this. The hell I've been through. Was a setup. For this season. I'm about to walk into. Oh. 